A few months ago, there was an announcement of a series of new Ninja Turtles movies that would be focused on villains. This is a fresh new take on the Turtles, and I'm really excited for some new content. The movies are coming straight to a streaming platform, so I'm expecting made-for-TV budgets instead of full theatrical release budgets. I wouldn't be surprised if the movies were a little shorter too, maybe around 45 minutes or an hour each. It would be cool if we got a series of four or six villain-centric movies. I hope it's not just two or three. The movies are going to feature stories that have never been told before. It will be great to get some new, original content instead of another adaptation. But I'm sure these movies will definitely take some direction from previous versions of the Turtles. They're coming out after the Seth Rogen Turtles movie, and I read they'll be animated too. One thing I haven't read is which villains will be featured in these movies. So I'm going to go over four possible movies that I'd like to see, or I'd expect to see, or we could see. These are just four options. Leave a comment and let me know which villains you think will be in the movies and which villains you'd like to see. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my Ninja Turtles channel for more Ninja Turtles videos like this. I'm going to focus on four villains in this video and I think three of them are probably pretty obvious popular mainstream choices for a villain focused Ninja Turtles movie. I'm expecting a movie about Shredder, another about Krang, and a third movie about Bebop and Rocksteady. I wouldn't be surprised if they made a Karai or Baxter Stockman movie, but I don't think they're going to reintroduce any obscure bad guy characters from Ninja Turtles history like Wick or Verminator X. The fourth villain movie would portray Casey Jones as a villain. I'll get to that in a bit. But first, a Shredder-focused movie would be awesome. I think that the shredder Oroku Saki origin story and backstory is really fascinating. It's been told a bunch of times, but it's always from the Turtles' point of view. The story has never been told from Shredder's perspective. I like the backstory in the 1990 movie and the first episode of the 1987 cartoon, but I really like the episode Tale of the Yokai from the 2012 show. Young Oroku Saki is just deranged and pathetic, and even though he's despicable, you almost feel sorry for him. A shredder a Roku Saki movie is almost a sure thing, and I'm excited for it. I'd like to see an origin story or a prequel type movie, and I can't wait to see a Roku Saki descend into madness and become the Shredder. Next up is Krang. Krang was featured prominently as a major villain in the 1987 series, and Uchams were introduced way back in the third issue of the original Mirage comics. The Krang micro series from IDW was a great story, and if the movie followed something similar to that, we can expect an awesome movie. Krang spends a lot of time outside his robot bodysuit, and you get to see him rise into a warlord. It's not really an origin story, it's more of just a story from Krang's past. In the IDW comic, Krang has to find his place in his family and deal with a strained relationship with his father. Maybe we could see a movie about how Krang got the Technodrome. I'd like to see something dramatic and heavy that really shows Krang as a menacing, threatening, imposing villain instead of the goofy portrayal in the 1987 cartoon. But who knows, we could get a silly movie about the red underwear that Krang wears outside of his robot body. And speaking of silly movies, the third villain-driven movie I would expect to see or I would like to see would be kind of a buddy comedy with Bebop and Rocksteady. This movie might be a little more lighthearted and focused on comedy. I'd like to see the Shredder and Krang movies be created for a more mature adult audience, but the Bebop and Rocksteady movie might have a younger feel. I really don't care what the plot would be. I'd just like to see the dim-witted henchmen do anything. I think it would be interesting to see them as good guys in the movie. They're so likable. These two characters can exist anywhere and still be charismatic. I'd like to see something like Dumb and Dumber or Harold and Kumar with Bebop and Rocksteady. And finally, a villain-driven movie that features Casey Jones as the villain. I usually think of Casey as a good guy, an ally of the Turtles. But he was introduced as a wild vigilante and somewhat as a threat to the Turtles in the original Raphael one-shot comic from Mirage. Casey Jones watched too much TV and Snap before he started fighting crime outside of the law. Ninja Turtles fans look over the fact that using sports equipment to wail on people who have committed petty crimes is illegal. And that makes Casey Jones a criminal too. You aren't allowed to take the law into your own hands like that. Portraying Casey as a villain would be a real twist. It's an interesting ethical setup. Do the ends justify the means? Is committing crimes to stop other crimes good? Even Raphael thought Casey was too angry and taking it too far in the 1990 movie. And these JV lowlifes need to be taught a lesson. Not like that they don't. Not from you. Of course the movies aren't going to be one-for-one -one retellings of the stories I reference, but I'm sure they'll take a little direction and influence from other versions of the Turtles and storylines that haven't been told in TV or film yet. We could also see Karai, Baxter Stockman, Leatherhead, Savanti Romero, who knows? I would love an old Hob movie. I'm not sure if these movies are going to be aimed for young kids or an older, more general audience. I don't know if these are going to be marketed next to Paw Patrol or something. I like the Half Shell Heroes movie, but I don't want any more preschool Ninja Turtles. I want something for adults. It doesn't need to be rated R or anything crazy, but I don't want a baby show. I think the recent success of The Last Ronin proved that the biggest audience for Ninja Turtles is adults and not kids. I don't think it's kids buying all the recent expensive Ninja Turtles collectibles with their allowance money. I think it's adults. I'm really excited for these villain-centric, villain-driven Ninja Turtles movies coming out in 2023 and beyond, and I can't wait to learn more. Who will they cast? What kind of animation are they going to have? Make sure to leave a comment about what you'd like to see in the movies or what you expect to see, and subscribe if you'd like me to make more videos about the upcoming Ninja Turtles villain movies. 
Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment and share this video. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Ninja Turtles videos like this.